this video, we're going to be breaking down one of my favorite route combinations in Madden 25. This is really good for attacking both man and zone coverages. It's going to be a variety of coverages. It's got a, one of the routes that you can't hot route uh, this type of corner route, and this is why I love this play. This is out of the Bunch Strong Offset. This is in the Packers playbook, and we are going to be dropping a Packers ebook on our school site probably as soon as you're watching this video. So make sure you're a school member. School members get access to all of our col college football and Madden 25 offensive and defensive ebooks as well as all of the updates, anything new. We try to drop a ton of content in there so you guys can get right on the game. If you're looking to get better at the game, make sure that you are in our school community. You're going to get a ton of content over the course of the next couple of weeks for sure. And then we'll obviously keep that content updated and releasing new content throughout the entire season. So if you want to sign up for that, the link is in the description below. The play is corner strike at a bunch strong offset. What makes this play good is they have – Really, like, every route on this play is unique, and you cannot hot route it. That's why I like this play. And the setup for this is really simple. All we're doing is we're just going to streak this slot receiver. Now, the reason we're going to streak the slot receiver um, is because it's going to create a high-low read on the right and on the left side. And you'll see that these streaks really do a good job of clearing stuff out. So the main read we're looking here is this high-low read on the right side. As you see there, we're able to take the tight end. If they're playing, like, curl-flat zones or they have any zone drops, you're going to be able to hit this tight end. But what's really cool, though, is this corner route. So this corner route is just going to get super open in a very soft spot against zone coverage. You're able to hit this like this. Another thing you can do if you want to run the double corner, uh, you can run, you know, kind of more of like a double corner. I would get that cor that second corner a little deeper. And the reason why is just it'll pull the quarter a little bit better. So you see here we get that double corner. That outside quarter has to go to him, and then you can throw this. But – the other thing that you have on this play is a high-low read to the left side. So if they're not playing hard flats on both sides here, this running back, if he ever gets out of the backfield, he'll be wide open as well. So you can take that little high-low read on the left. You can take the high-low read on the right. And then the seam streak in the middle of the field is really good for attacking any kind of cover two coverage. You have a chance to uh, basically hit this right up the seam this year. And that mid-read actually matched perfectly. But – Typically, the mid-read's not going to match perfectly, so I'll kind of explain what that would look like. So let me – a lot of times people are going to be using the mid-read is what I'm trying to say. A lot of times people are going to be using the mid-read. So if there is no mid-read on the field, watch this streak against cover two. You're just going to basically see how that see how that deep half got pulled by the corner, and then this is going to be open. This is why we run the setup the way we run it, because if they want to run cover two, we have the capability here to just easily split the cover two. And a lot of times, even if it is a mid-read that matches, you see here this mid-read – uh, whoops, I'm sorry, I was in the wrong coverage, and Mahomes just gets crazy. A lot of times if that mid-read does match, you if you have a fast enough player there, uh, you can actually outrun him as well. But again, you see we have that high-low read on the left. We have the high-low read on the right. The other thing I wanted to show you is – C route. So this C route is a little different than uh, this C route is a little different than most C routes in the game. It's not like the double post one either. So what you're going to see is this C route is going to get really in a nice spot. So if they're playing hard flat coverage, you really have this super sharp cutting C route, which does a really good job at being able to beat those coverages. Now I'm going to take baseline off, and I'm going to actually come back out, and we're going to talk a little bit about. Uh, some principles for beating man coverage because man coverage at this point in the year, you definitely, uh, it's really good, right? It's really good. So this is one of the reasons why I like this formation is because if I run this play, you're going to notice that this corner route on the right side is going to do a really good job of attacking man coverage. Or you see here, he's going to get a real sharp cut and he almost gets like a speed boost against that coverage. This is a really, really good route against man coverage. It's a great man beating corner route. Also, the other thing that you have is let's say they are playing press man because I do think press man is the best way to play man. Watch this tight end. It's like an unbumpable almost slant out. He did get kind of – he didn't get rerouted bumped, but he got kind of bumped just because of the jumbling. What you can do here um, if we wanted to kind of get this – get this a little bit more open against like a press coverage is we could actually just leave more on his route. Uh, and the reason why is because watch, it'll get this tight end free off that side. And I think it's just that corner on the right side is getting kind of bumped. Let me, um, let me try one other thing here for you guys to show you. I just want to show you this tight end route. It's kind of cool if we could get this unbumpable. So let me, um, let me actually try this little route glitch here and then we're going to show you this tight end. So See how this tight end is almost like a slant out. A lot of times that can be open. It wasn't there, but a lot of times that, that slant out can be a pretty cool little route 
But the other thing that I want to show you is this left side C route. So this left side C route is really good because it's going to be pretty consistently uh, good against man coverage, as you see right there. You're just going to get that cut to the left side, and you're going to be able to hit this against press man to man. So if the tight end flat is not there for you, and you could just put the tight end on a basic flat as well, uh, the basic flat, but essentially – you have these two routes here on the left side. You have this in route, and then you have the C route. Now, the C route, it will take a little bit of getting used to just in terms of how you want to throw the C route. But generally speaking, um, you're going to see here, you just want to pop it right over there. I don't even – oftentimes, I don't even have to freeform that route, right, especially with Mahomes and regs. I don't think you really have to freeform this route. And then if you aren't getting pressed, like literally – as we kind of got randomly bumped. The random bumping in this game is still something that just drives me absolutely insane. But if you are getting pressed, or if you're not getting pressed, rather, um, this, this corner route becomes even more powerful, even more powerful. If you ever get in trouble, just click on an agate. Um, but this, this corner route's really good. And then there's just a lot, of, a lot of really unique things you could do with this. You can actually turn it into a super slant out. I'll show you how to turn it into super slant out. A little advanced tip here at the end. We do have a tutorial on this. Uh, on our channel, but basically you're going to stem him down one tick and then you're going to smart route him. Let me, as we kind of broke it up, let me reset the play. So you're going to stem this corner route down one tick and then you're going to smart route the corner. I don't know why it's not letting me smart route it now. I feel like this is kind of bugged, but basically it turns us into, um, in, in college football, you couldn't stem the C route on this play. This year you can, or in Madden, I think you can stem it. So it's kind of a unique thing. So Let's see, stem. Let me see if I can get the smart route to the register. I don't know why the smart route's not registering. But anyways, you can stem this. Um, actually, let's try um, let's try stemming there. There we go. We got it. Okay, perfect. Now watch this. So what it does is it turns this into basically a, a literal slant out, but it's got a speed burst now to it. And so you see how that sharp cut really does cook man. And it makes it almost unbumpable. Like if I try to press here, so here I'm going to stem it up one and then do it. And you see this will be a little bit more. Yeah, it works a little better. So I'll show you this and just watch this. See how he just instant separation beats man coverage. And then I can, then I can just go man coverage is really good this year. So this is a great, I think a great route combo uh, to be able to take advantage of. And again, the, if you want a quick snap, just come out straight to slot, call it good. And somebody's going to normally be open. This running back in round is normally pretty good against man coverage as well. So you have that. And then you also have the, um, the high low read on the right and on the left side, the C route on the left side though, I cannot overstate how underrated this route is. This is a great route in this game. So that's one of my favorite route combos. Beats every coverage in the game. Really simple. Um, I like the sharp cut that that guy gets on the left side. Now, we're getting super bumped here. So what I'm going to do is a little bit of a variation of this setup. You could do it like this as well. And, again, this is just to try to help prevent the bumping that we've been getting. If we're if you're ever getting like if they're playing like a true press up, we're going to get everybody over here because it's really just because in one, four, six, you have, you know, four people over here. Right. So if I was to do it like this, now I'm going to get a little bit better. I'm not going to get the random bumping you see here. I'm just going to get a cleaner animation. But as you also see, the press can sometimes just go crazy. Uh, and that's why you want to have, you know, different types of unbumpable routes. So. Anyways, this is Corner Strike out of Bunch Strong in the Packers playbook. This is probably my favorite play uh, against man coverage just because the corner route is so consistent. And then you can also do a lot of other stuff. Like let's say you wanted to kind of get like adjusty. You could throw a speed out out here, and these speed outs are super good against man. Um, you could put the running back on a Texas route. You could do some of that stuff, right? Uh, I'll show you this. This actually we could turn the running back out into a little speed boost almost like a little drag in that crazy. So uh, there's a lot you can do with here. But in general, I just wanted to kind of go over why this is good against man coverage and how you can kind of use this to also create high-low reads for your offense against zone coverage as well. So um, super, super fun play here in Corner Strike. A lot of things you can do with it. So if you guys want to check out our full ebook on this, it's going to be dropping on our school site literally any minute now. You can go sign up for the school page at the link in the description below.